Hey guys, I'm Matt Rayner with Ranger Boats. We're here to take a look at our Z522 Comanche. Uh, it's an awesome platform, the biggest bass boat we build. Jump in with me, we'll take a look at some of the features. All right, so uh, at the bow, obviously, you can tell this is, this is where a guy's gonna spend the majority of his time. We feel like this is kind of laid out to, uh, to be an ideal situation for a bass fisherman, especially. Uh, the, the, the trolling motor pedal's been recessed into the deck. Um, not only does it look nice, but that's easier on a long day of fishing. You're, you're more level. Uh, it, 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 does, it does improve your back, your posture. In fact, this, this front deck also has padding underneath. It's another key feature that you know, makes those long days on the water that much more bearable. Uh, you've, got, you've got electronics flush mounted into the bow panel up here, along with digital switching, control the live well, navigation lights, uh, some of the key functions of the boat right there. Obviously, we're, uh, we're standard with a, with a Minn Kota trolling motor. We've got, uh, we've, got, we've got rod straps on the front deck to keep, keep rods uh, you know, secure and, and, and happy there from, as you're moving spot to spot through the lake. With the Z522, one of the things you'll notice is this, is this huge front deck. And I mean, that goes for the back deck as well, but there's just so much room in this boat. You could, you could land a helicopter on the front here. So needless to say, two, three guys fishing on the, on the front of this boat is not an issue. It's also a great platform for big water. Uh, if you've got somewhere that, that's, a, that's no, notoriously rough, big, big waves can get, can get choppy, this is a great boat for that. Uh, we've got a center rod locker that's uh, configured to hold tackle along the sides. You can get you know, up to eight or more rods uh, neatly protected into the, into the middle tubes. And you've got dry storage on both sides, multiple. Uh, you've got a cooler that doubles as a step up to the front deck. Uh, there's just tons and tons of room on this boat. As you'll notice, we talked about the rod straps earlier. Console features a, a beveled out spot here to keep those rod tips comfortable, safe, uh, not, you're not worried about them scratching up the, the beautiful finish on that fiberglass console. So moving here into the cockpit, we've got a bucket seating arrangement and this, this little console is great for, for keeping stuff like your, your wallet, cell phone, uh, baits you're using throughout the day. There's just, this is a nice spot to keep those, keep those things handy, pliers, uh, stuff like that. The console is a great fit for the driver. You've got multi-function gauges. Again, room for uh, room for large uh, touchscreen. You know the, the latest in technology from our electronics partners. You can flush mount it in the bow. Digital switching and keyless ignition here. Um, just a you know a great a great feeling boat from the cockpit. So you know finally as we move to the back deck, not only do you have a massive massive cooler that would hold you know hold ice for days and, and you can keep keep quite a bit cool there but you've got a divided aerated live well so again great for great for tournament guys uh, you can keep your keep your catch you know separate and secure but you've got the redundancy of extra pumps you know you don't have to worry about one side going out this you know you, you could lose one side potentially and still keep that whole well aerated and, and uh, in good shape so Again, as you'll notice here, just the massive amount of room on the back deck. This is a, this is a great boat. As I mentioned earlier, one of the, one of the biggest ones we build. Uh, if, you're, if you're out on a place that, again, it features rough water and, and you, want, you want the biggest, best, most stable platform money can buy, check out the Z522 Comanche at rangerboats.com.